Hi guys, it is super early in the morning as I'm filming this. Clearly you can tell I needed a super bright ring light right now because it is so early, I'm tired, but it's a crock pot meal. So, you know, it takes like six to eight hours to cook. So we're gonna get it in there now so we can not have dinner at midnight. Okay, oh wait, I didn't even tell you guys what I'm making. Barbacoa tacos, super simple. Literally crock pot, like five different spices, but you could buy them in a blend. And cilantro, literally it. Okay, let's make it. So for our beef, I have a 3.23 pound of a chuck roast. Chuck roast is really affordable, especially when it comes to like big chunks of meat that you wanna cook and get super tender. So now we just have to trim it. You guys know my crock pot isn't humongous and even if it was, I would still wanna trim it so that I can get like the most crusty flavor ever. Mine is still kind of frozen, so that's why it's a little bit easier to kind of go through. But it doesn't matter how you trim it as long as it's in like cookable pieces. So like this is perfectly fine. Then we'll just take this one and just kind of, I don't know, just like, yeah, like handful size pieces. I'll probably chop this one in half. Now that our meat is all chopped, we're just gonna season with some salt and pepper. You wanna be like pretty heavy on your salt and your peppering because a lot of it's gonna stick to the pan. And this is a lot of meat. So you wanna hit it on all sides, so just kinda like roll it around. Same thing with the pepper. I wanna get like one of those automatic pepper grinder things that you literally, it's, it looks just like this and you hold it upside down and you press like a little button and it just does it. I feel like that's super lazy, but also kind of fancy. Okay, I'll season the other sides in a second, but then we're gonna take my favorite pan of like all time. I feel like I use this for like every video. We're gonna take this and we're gonna get some olive oil heated up. I feel like this would be another important thing to mention. When you're heating up your pan, you should really let the pan get hot before you add any butter, oil, whatever, because if your fat gets hot, then when you put it in, it's automatically gonna splatter on you versus letting your pan get nice and hot, then adding your oil. I just saved your life. Then we can take our beef season side down and you're gonna work in batches. And then you can season the other side too. We're gonna cook it for about four minutes a side. Then you can give it a flip onto the other side. Ooh. Beautiful. Okay, see, this is exactly what you're looking for. Perfect. Okay, second side is done. Even better. Okay, so you could go and do the other side. It's really up to you. I'm gonna do it for like 30 seconds on these side. So since this is a crock pot meal and I still have the other piece of meat to go. I'm gonna take this out, and I know you guys can't see, but this is my crock pot bowl back here, or the crock pot pot. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna call it that. So, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, we're just gonna layer all the meat down there, preferably in like an even layer. I have a super small crock pot, so it's okay. Then we can add a little bit more oil and do the second batch. So now that we have all the meat in our crock pot, I set it too low. Now, this is the hardest part. I have a bowl of seasonings. We have onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, paprika, and chili powder. My chili powder is kind of a little bit spicier, so I did half a teaspoon, but other than that, everything else is a teaspoon. Now, you could, yeah, you, you could give it a little toss and mix it together, pour it right on top, then I have half a cup of some water and like a little teaspoon of bouillon, but other than that, you could use beef broth, chicken broth, whatever you have. 
pour that over and put the lid and goodbye for six to eight hours. That's literally it guys for now. Then we'll come back. It's been about four hours and it smells so good. But of course, meat is still tough, but the meat has kind of cooked down. So I'm just gonna give everything like a gentle little press in there. So everything cooks evenly. Mmm, smells so good. Okay, I will see you guys in a couple more hours. It's been six hours. I have some of the meat in my mouth. It is. <laughs> Okay, take two. I am tasting it. It is so good. The meat is literally shredding. I'm trying to do this with my left hand. Clearly, I'm not left-handed. Anyway. Uh-huh. Yeah, Roman is telling you guys it is super, super tender. The last step, and I only put a half cup of juice, and there is definitely, like, at least a cup, but it works out. Ooh, put it over some potatoes. Delicious. Anyway, last step, we're going to add some lime juice and some cilantro. Okay, I added about half a cup of cilantro because I'm cilantro obsessed. Now, once you add it, it kind of like wilts in, which is good. I'm so ready to have this. Everyone else is having it like taco style. I'm gonna have it over lettuce, like a salad. Mm -hmm. So good.